I'm super happy with all of my sponsors, but I want to welcome everybody overall because these events are amazing. Having Latino leaders, having Lat leaders overall in New York and Queens are amazing. So we have a great program for you today. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So can I get a round of applause for everybody that's here? Uh, I'm Brian. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a, a marketing and branding company. I help businesses and individuals build their personal and professional brands to get their story out into the world. Um, that's my, my, my job. I've owned that company now for almost eight years and we've worked with Fortune 500 companies all the way down to individual personal brands, individual entrepreneurs, small businesses. And uh, a passion project that I started two years ago in addition to my company is called Unido Las Americas, which is United the Americas, where I bring uh, top Latin American entrepreneurial talent from Latin America to the U.S., introduce them to venture capitalists and other executives in an effort to continue to help them gain international connections and capital. Um, Jorge and Remote Reactivation and Nunez Dental were amazing partners for the last two years of that project. So I really am so grateful to be here. I believe so much in Jorge and his family and uh, I'm excited to hopefully help as many people as we can tonight. Thank you. Real quick, are you Latino yourself? No, I'm not Latino. I'm not Latino, but I call myself a Latino. <laughs> so, so if you want to know what a Latino is, it's, you know, it's a word that I invented, um, which means Latino de corazón, gringo de sangre, Latino de corazón. Mm. So, yeah. I love Latin American culture. My father's Lebanese, my mother's Irish, but I'm Latino. That's how much you love. So Latino. I can say it. For me, what's, what's probably most important is do I like the person, right? Yeah. Like, we should, <laughs> everyone's always like, like searching for these magical uh, equations of like, uh, what would be the perfect client? It's, it's like, could you sit on an airplane with that person and fly from Los Angeles to New York and have a pretty good time? If the answer to that is like, hell no, then it's, it's harder for me to conceptualize a working relationship with that person. So the first thing, for example, like, do I like the person? The second thing is, do I believe in what that person is up to, right? Like, you were, you know, you presented us to your husband. You were so proud to present us to your husband. So if you came to me and said, like, can you build a brand, and I just saw the vibe between you guys, it would be much more likely that I'd be able to build a brand. The snowball effect that you talked about, Thomas, at the beginning, I think is brilliant because most of us are trying to close everything too fast. Like we're trying to close the girl at the bar too fast. We're trying to close the business deal too fast. We're trying to get the number too early for everything. And I think that for me, it's like, in order to actually build up, like we've known each other for years, Jorge and I have known each other for, for six, seven years now. And in order to, to really understand somebody, you have to give them some time. So don't feel like you have to pressure, pressure yourself into making this decision quickly about business relationships. I would say take your time, see if you like the person, see if you enjoy their company, and see if you believe in them as a, as a brand or as a person. So we need some sort of capital to have a business. So I'm not up here delusional that like everything should be free. I'm just saying most people get it wrong because they're trying to close too quickly with everything for the quick sale instead of the long build, because the long build is ultimately what keeps you more sustainable as a business. How many people in here feel like they have a mentor? I was just gonna ask that. <laughs> How many people don't have a mentor? It's okay, like, raise your hand if you don't have a mentor. How many people are a mentor to somebody? So cool, so like half the room for all the questions. So, uh, a couple of things that I, that I find interesting about mentorship. Number one, the idea of finding a mentor right now, I think that the, the, con the conversation is confusing. Like, hey Jody, will you be my mentor? That's a tremendous amount of work for her. Like, I just unloaded a lot of work for Jody. I think that the problem with mentorship right now is that it's a really, it's a one-way street. 
the people that are looking for mentors think that they don't have to do anything in exchange for that mentorship. It's a really bad idea. It's a really bad approach to mentorship. Whenever I think about mentorship, the first thing I always think about, if I want Steve to be my mentor, the number one thing that I'm thinking in my head is, what does Steve need and how can I do that for him? The fastest Max. way that you can find a mentor is to figure out how to give a mentor something more valuable than they're giving you. Because otherwise you're just like, yo, can I have coffee with you and dinner with you and more of your time and more of your connections and more of your resources? It's like, why would someone say yes to that? Now, these people are amazing people. They're gonna probably say yes just because they're good people. But most of the mentorship conversation is completely off kilter. The first thing you think about is, how, what can I do for that mentor? The second thing is, maybe you don't like talking to people. Like that's a very real thing for a lot of people. People are shy and they come to me, I get a lot, I have a personal brand so I get a ton of messages and they say, Brian, I need mentorship but I don't really like people. That's fair. So there are other ways to get mentors without ever talking to somebody. You can listen to podcasts and watch videos and read books. That's equally as valuable of mentorship. Maybe you don't get the relationships that's valuable, but you can still consume content and information from people without taking their time. That's the quickest way to get a fast mentor without having to put much into it yourself. For me to put out content, I have a team that I pay a monthly fee to to put out content. So I'm already giving Steve something. He just, I don't even have to know that he's following me. And that for me is valuable. That for me is how I mentor people. How many people in here want to own their own business, but don't get it? Okay, cool. So there's a couple, there's, there's thought leadership when I think about it is absolutely being in front of people, sure. But I think people don't fully understand, and when I, when I help people build brands, the number one reason I'm passionate about helping people build brands is because I don't think people fully understand where things are going in the economy in terms of personal branding. Here's what I mean by that. The wavy uh, video we just saw, that was awesome. What happened in the kitchen, in, in the bathroom? She was talking to Alexa, right? Amazon Alexa. And she said, you know, what's my day like? <clears throat> what I don't think people understand is that if you are not on people's minds all the time, you will not succeed in business. And Nunez Dental has, like how many reviews do you guys have on Google? Almost a thousand. A thousand reviews, it's like the highest. <laughs> all right, so, so, so let's play this out. There's a couple things that I think would be really valuable for all of you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm literally desperately trying to think about how to help you guys. There's a couple things. First of all, Nunez Dental built something really special. They have a thousand Google reviews. That is huge. That is really, really hard to do. And that was manufactured through a lot of very intentional thought, right? But a lot of people aren't there yet. And that doesn't mean you can't be successful as a business. It just means you have to be smart about your personal brand. What I mean by that is this. Very soon, in the next 36 to 48 to 60 months, I'm gonna be in the bathroom and I'm gonna realize that I want to get my teeth cleaned. And I'm gonna say, Alexa, who is the closest dentist near me? And Alexa is going to send me a list of three to four dentists. And I'm gonna look them up online maybe, or I'm just gonna go there. But I'm never ever gonna do that, why? Because I already know who my dentist is. Because it's Nunez Dental, because they've already built such brand equity with me. I'm never gonna cater from anyone else other than Hidden City, not because they're the best, although maybe you are the best, I don't know, but because they built a brand that maybe what they did was they were the DJ of content. Maybe they showed you all the new hot restaurants opening in the city and now all of a sudden I trust their brand and so when I need a catering event, I'm gonna go there. What happens when Google, when, instead of saying like, Amazon's about to take over everything. So when I say, hey, I want to go to a dental office, Amazon's gonna have a dental office in five years. And then you guess dental's even in trouble. <laughs> Building a personal brand is simply one word for me, it's trust. Becoming a thought leader is simply one word for me, it's trust. So when it comes time for me to hire a lawyer and I know absolutely nothing about the law, if Jody and Thomas have been consistently feeding me content that helps my life get better and understand where are the sanctuary cities, what are my rights as an immigration lawyer, what should I say when someone comes to my door, now all of a sudden I've been seeing their content on Facebook and Instagram. They haven't sold me anything, but I trust them. You better believe the second I have a legal issue, I'm giving them my money. It's how personal branding will work.
work. It's why I'm on leadership for work. I think also <clears throat> something to keep in mind from your question that I that I hear on you know I put out Spanish in content. It's not uh, put out content in Spanish. I'm thinking of Spanish like reverse. Um, and and you know Spanish is not my first language. I learned Spanish in the Dominican Republic as an adult. Um, oh, any Dominicans in the group? And um, so, so, so the, the thing I think about is, like, whenever somebody gives me their opinion, it's remarkable how, uh, how I don't hear it. Like, it, it would actually scare you a little bit how much I don't care about what other people say to me. But that doesn't mean like, oh, I'm so great. It just means this: the day that that guy or gal told you that thing. He might have just got in the worst fight of his life with his kid. His mom might have just died. And I'm not making an excuse for the person that tries to put you down. I'm not making an excuse for the person that told you that in, in, in your situation. What I'm saying is this, com human beings are so unbelievably complex that advice from people that don't know you, and by the way, there are really very few people in this world that actually know you, and even their advice is only half contextual to your truth as a human being. So, people that don't know you giving advice, I listen to it, and the first thing, I swear to you, the first thing I think to myself is like, I'm really sorry that you have so much pain in your heart, that today you feel the need to try to put down my dream because you are hurting so much internally. Hurt people, hurt people. So I think that you made it happen, and your point is brilliant, which is the best way for you to get over that thing that's happening is to prove them wrong and then talk about it out loud. And then your job is to now build everyone else up around you. To tell them, like you find the Latinos in your organization, you say, I believe that you can be a lawyer. I believe you will be an incredible lawyer. I will be, I believe you, and you made it happen, right? So that's what I'd say. People that are giving you their opinions are oftentimes just literally putting a mirror in front of themselves and projecting their very deepest, worst insecurities onto you.